Hello everyone and welcome to the Enemies Ilya and today we're continuing the month of Shogaho. This time we'll be taking a look at the voices behind this amazing character. So for the video we'll be going over the Japanese VA and the English VA as well, getting to know them a little bit more and seeing what other voice acting roles they've had within the past and whether or not any of those elements from their previous work can be found within their performance of Mizuki Shogaho. Now we'll also be comparing both the Japanese and English dub after which and then I'll give you my personal opinion as to which VA I think suits the Queen of Tokyo Budai more. Please note though that both VAs do a fantastic job within their respective roles and this video was not created to any way discredit anyone's work. I simply wish to compare, analyse, offer you the chance to express your opinion about who you prefer is the voice of Mitsuki Shokuho and which one you like more. So then, with that out of the way, let's start off by looking at the English voice actress Michaela Kranz. Now, the character of Mitsuki Shokuho has in fact had two English voice actresses within the past. However, Michaela Kranz was the most recent voice actress to have played Mitsuki Shokuho. She appeared within the Railgun T series, so that's why I've decided to focus on this actress in particular. Now, Michaela Kranz has voiced a lot of different anime characters, ranging from playing supportive role characters to main protagonists and female leads. Here are a few examples. Isaac Foster from the Angel of Death series. Senku from Dr. Stone. Yamamo aka Calamity Mary from the Magical Rising Project and Shiri Ura from the Seven Witches anime. Sorry if I mispronounced that name but you got a picture and title here. So this voice actress certainly has a lot of experience when it comes to the different types of characters that she's voiced over the past. And it's clear that she is very talented as a voice actress, showing different pitches, range and tones when delivering those characters. But in terms of whether or not any elements from her roles previously can be seen within Mitsuki Shokuho's character, I could not find a copy and paste example. By this I mean the fact that yes, in her previous performances with other characters, a few of her phrases do sound similar to each other, but there was nothing like copy and paste. So you wouldn't sat there going, ah, oh, why does this character sound exactly like another character from an anime? Like, why can't this voice actress or voice actor have any range or pitch that make the character sound different and unique? Michaela Krantz does this perfectly. She makes it so that each character has something different to offer whether that's a different range, pitch, style or tone. So this is a really good thing because the characters have a bit of uniqueness and a bit of freshness when she voices a new role. So now then let's take a look at the Japanese voice actress and do the same thing. Take a look at some roles that she's been in previously with other anime shows as well as um, having some comments to close off. Now when I say the Japanese voice actress, I'm of course referring to Azumi Asakura. She played characters such as Asia from High School DxD, Luffy Set from the Tales of Iberia video game, Kumin from Love, Chinibio and Other Disillusions, and Emeralda from Devil is a Part-Timer. Now, if you were to look at the amount of voice acting roles that this Japanese voice, voice actress has participated in, you don't really have a massive list, meaning she doesn't have a massive amount of experience. But what this voice actress does deliver is a uniqueness to each performance that she does. Each character sounds different, it sounds unique, it sounds fresh, and that's thanks to the different ranges, pitches, and the performance given for each new character that she does. Plus, she's had examples of voicing in video games. When doing that, you get to explore different ranges, different tones and different ways of using your voice. So this, of course, would only make her an even more threat within the 
the voice acting community later on down the road, opening her opportunities for more roles in the future. So then with all that out of the way, let's look at an example from Mitsuki Show the host character within the A Certain Scientific Railgun T anime series. Now then, after we take a look at this example, we will be comparing the English and Japanese voice acting and the performances. So let's take a look. But first off, we'll start with a Japanese clip. Now for clarity reasons, I do need to say I do not own these clips at all. I'm merely using them as an example to showcase my point and help back up my opinions later on in this video. All credit goes to the animators, creators and studio that produces it. Enjoy. <laughs> ま、<笑> Next up then, the English version. Same clip. Hey! Hold on! I told you to wait a second! Don't just ignore me! There's no way you didn't hear that. Don't go getting fired up without me. I'm the one who brought you here. So it's only right that we stick together. Don't go dashing off at full speed. Yeah, well, you know how it is. I am heavier in certain areas than you are. So you have less wind resistance to worry about. You can imagine how hard that must be, right? Huh? Excuse me? I'm the pinnacle of hell! Interesting. Now that I think about it, I don't remember ever seeing you do anything in gym class. Yeah, so? You think being athletic makes you a better person? How old are you, ten? Ah, that explains why you have the figure of a little girl. Ugh, my figure has nothing to do with this! What about your sparkly eyes straight out of a shoujo manga? I was born this way! Didn't anyone ever teach you not to make fun of others' appearances? What do you think you just did? So those were two clips, both very comedic and brilliant clips to use. Yes, although this is just one comparison, I do think a lot of good and bad things can be said about both voice actresses' performance within this segment. After all, within the Japanese version of these events, you can hear how tired and out of breath Misaki Shoko is within these events. This comes across from the emotional range and pitch and tones used and I think it works magically with the visuals. Where looking at the English version, yes, you can hear that tiredness factor in, but also you can hear a hint of annoyance within the voice. This added element of extra emotion, I find helped create a more interesting and more realistic vibe when watching this scene. This is because from my understanding, Mitsuki Shoko is a character that would be annoyed at Misaka for running off, making her do some extra curriculum activity in exerting herself physically by running. Overall, when looking at which voice I prefer Mitsuki Shoko to have within the series, I do have to say the English dub. Now, this may be because of my first time bias. By this, I mean the fact that I've only actually watched the Index franchise series, seasons, whatever you want to call them, in English. I've not watched it all the way through yet in Japanese, so I've not had a chance to connect with the characters using those particular voices. Nevertheless though, I will say this. If Mitsuki Shokoho was a character purely for comedy and comedic relief, then I would have said Azumi does a better job. 
when it comes to the comedic side of things. Because it's such a fun, lively, energetic, bobbly voice to listen to when voicing Shoko's character in those particular situations. I don't know why, I just find myself more attracted to the Japanese voice for Shokuho when it comes to the comedy. But when it comes to the serious and the talking type of situation, I find the English does just kind of do a better job, just about. But, you now know my opinions, I want to know your opinions. Who did you prefer as the voice actress for Mitsuki Shoko? Let me know in the comments down below. But of course, if you haven't done so already, like the video if you did. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, subscribe if you're new, so you never miss a video from myself. More importantly though, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Alligator, matane, goodbye.